I'm gonna quit doing that because you put that in every fucking video <laughs> anyway. Because <laughs> you do it in every video. CG grin. If I hold the camera too long at him, he just smiles real big. Or I finish saying something and I would turn and look at him and just <laughs> give him a big old CG grin. That's it. That's it. It's close. So we're doing the frame and the underside first. <laughs> So then we can take it off the rotisserie to put it back on the wheels. Yeah, the goal is we're going to get the frame done. We're working up the firewall. All of this will get painted the same color all at once. And then we'll also be going under the bottom, getting the whole bottom smoothed out. Get everything done, primed and painted on the rotisserie. Damn it, Chris. We're trying to do TV shit. Take two. Oh, come on, Tim. You know I'm a one and done kind of guy. So, quick catch up. Uh, we're smoothing the frame rails, firewall, whole bottom side of the car. We are going to paint it all on the rotisserie, and then we're going to get it back on its wheels to do the top side, get the body fit, whole lot of finger work. A whole lot Schwarz of finger work. Schwarzenegger fingers by the time we're done with it. So you feel it so hard? Yeah. <laughs> Travis Tra made it easy for Travis me. Travis the bobblehead. Travis, yeah. Travis made it easy for me. I just be rolled. Now that it's flipped, doing the other side. Was that Wayne's World? Yeah. Or the, or the SpongeBob? Oh, yeah. A few minutes later. Some SpongeBob. Uh, now that uh, we got it rolled over, we'll finish everything on this side. Get it primed. Let's sand it all again. Yeah. All the fun. Nothing to it but to do. Do you think it'll be done by next week? Could be. <laughs> Depends on I love the confidence.
It'll be done by the by our deadline. Yeah. You can do it. It might take us all night long. Fun. Fun, fun. Fun, fun. dry guide coat. It is a uh, graphite base. Can't really see it. It's down in there. Put it on with a sponge Can applicator. Powder? Yeah, it's just... Yeah. Comes out all black. Smear it on. It shows you... It gets down into all of your previous scratches. You use it as a guide. Once you're done with one grit, the guide coat, we'll go back and re-sand it with the next finer grit. Once all the guide coat's gone, you look your panel over, you should be good to go that pretty well all the scratches are gone. Not 100% foolproof, you always want to double check, make sure everything looks good, but it's a very easy step to help make sure you get rid of 80% of your scratches right out of the gate. So if you're sanding on it and you have a little spot left over, that means you got a low spot, right? Yeah, in this application, we're using it only for scratches, but while you're doing body work, they make a aerosol version of this also. We'll put that on, and as you're sanding, 
if you always see the same spot that keeps coming back and back and still has guide coat in it, that usually means it's a low spot. So you either got to fill it or keep blocking until it goes away. Now I'm going to guide coat your camera. <laughs> You said you're almost halfway? Yeah, we're just about halfway. Yeah. Uh, we're sanded at 220 to about there. We've got to catch this up and then 400 at all. And then it'll be ready for paint. So close. So close. Just to clarify, that's just the underside. Just the underside. That's just the underside. Which is far more difficult than the top side is going to be. Very intricate. Yeah, we got to sand where all that black is. It'll all see sandpaper. And then do it again. Dump in my office. Yeah. Messy job. Thanks for watching. If you want to see more build videos like this, help us out by liking, commenting, and subscribing to our channel. And it's a little thing to do, but don't forget to turn on those notifications. If you want to buy merch, go to store.classiccarstudio.com. See you next time.